Money must have been a dire necessity. Else you would never forge your husband's signature. The money was to pay for the headstones that your husband would not allow. For Grace, for James, for you. I was arranging things to make it look as if Mr. Kelmott was the intended victim. Simply to keep me off the trail. When I found the card, I was furious. That Thomas should have known me so little that he had need to employ a detective to uncover the truth. And it struck me. If anyone could understand, it would be you. Thomas thinks I'm mad because I speak to my children. He doesn't understand. The dead are not so very far away. They're just on the other side of the wall. It's us on this side who are all of us so... Alone. I have been alone. All my life. But with the conversations of the intellect. And is that enough? It can be. If one is so fortunate as to find a place in the world. And another soul with whom one's loneliness can reside. Do you know a place? Where two such souls might reside? <laughs>